गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू द नेक्स्ट बोर्ड ने क्लास ओवर यू ऑल आई हो ऑल आर फाइन ओके हैव यू लर्न दैट प्रीवियस क्लास पोर्शन चिल्ड्रन यस गुड गुड स्टूडेंट्स सो टुडे क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न the next topic children bacteria what is bacteria the bacteria is the prokaryotic organism that's a unicellular in nature the first one where are the regions the presence in this bacteria means they everywhere the presence that bacteria clear yes the first one Shall I ask you a question? Have you noticed the preparation of curd in your home? What happened there? What happened? The milk has changed into curd. Am I correct? What happened that day? That one? Yes, very good. So there, presence of one bacteria. Okay. so that's a bacterial name is known as lactobacillus lactis lactobacillus lactis that is a bacterium they convert milk into curd am i correct yes good why it so that why it so very good the solus is due to formation of the lactic acid okay anyway we have consider we can consider the bacterium that is a friend as well as that is a foe foe means that's the enemies okay due to their presence of beneficial and harmful activities that is related the bacteria has a certain times that is harmful certain times that is beneficial one clear yes the once again i will ask the question what is bacteria bacteria is the prokaryotic organism that's a unicellular in nature that's a microscopic organisms okay yes the bacteria the first inventor the person name is known as anton von leeuwenhoek okay anton von leeuwenhoek so this person in the year of 1676 the person the bacterium they discovered in the year of 1676 first the anton von leeuwenhoek called the bacterium the name is known as animalcules okay the name is known as animalcules what does mean by bacteriology what does mean by bacteriology what does mean by bacteriology the study of bacteria is known as bacteriology clear children this is one of the small introduction of the one what is bacteria who discovered this bacterium the first time it's a person name is known as anton von leeuwenhoek in the year of 1676 they first they called the name is known as animalcules okay then what is mean by bacteriology the study of bacteria is known as bacteriology clear children yes so next one we are going to learn about general characteristic features of bacteria general characteristic features of bacteria general characteristic features of general characteristic features of characteristic features of bacteria okay of bacteria so what is the general characteristic features of bacteria means first one so this is a prokaryotic organism no nuclear membrane and membrane bound organelles okay that's the first point the genetic material is called the name is known as nuclear the first point is what is that first point this is a prokaryotic organism prokaryotic organism prokaryotic organisms prokaryotic organism next one is the genetic material the genetic material is called the name is known as genetic material is called the name is known as 
जीनो फोर जीनो फोर और इनसिपियंट न्यूक्लियस इनसिपियंट न्यूक्लियस इनसिपियंट न्यूक्लियस और न्यूक्लियोइड और न्यूक्लियोइड और न्यूक्लियोइड सो दिस आर द थ्री टर्म्स द जेनेटिक मटेरियल इज फॉर द नेम इज नोन एज इनसिपियंट न्यूक्लियस जीनो फोर और न्यूक्लियोइड क्लियर चिल्ड्रन सेस आर नो यस द नेक्स्ट वन so here the cell wall region they presents in some of the components so that is the some of the polysaccharides or nucleotides the molecules are the presents in the cell wall region okay then here that is the bacterial cell they presents in a two type of this mode of nutrition children the first one is some of this are comes under in a heterotrophic mode and some of them are comes under in a autotrophic mode okay heterotrophic mode means there is the without that's a chlorophyll content so that's the best one example of the species is the vibrio cholerae then some bacterial cell they have that is the bacterium chlorophyll is there so that one can comes under in a autotrophic mode am i correct yes so that is the example of the species is the chromatium the example of the species is the chromatium clear children the next general characteristic features of bacterium the vegetative reproduction the vegetative type of reproduction they comes under in a binary fission and endospore formation binary fission and endospore formation clear binary fission means the dividing of these two cells okay then endospore formation that's the two types takes place in a vegetative type of reproduction then sometimes the next general characteristic features of bacteria in some times the bacteria they shows that the variation how will this variation takes place means due to their genetic recombinations okay through that said genetic recombination they that like expressing in it they shows that variation clear children how is the way how is the method to get this variation means through conjugation transformation and transduction these are the three methods of sexual reproduction in bacteria clear children say yes or no yes good very good so these are the certain general characteristic features of bacteria clear yes next one is shape of bacteria and flagellation of bacteria okay the next one is shape of bacteria and flagellation of bacteria first of all what are the shapes of bacteria what are the shapes of bacteria what are the shapes of bacteria means commonly they are given that four shapes children first one is coccus coccus bacillus form bacillus coccus bacillus spirula spirula and the four bonus vibrio vibrio okay children so all of you see first one is coccus form of bacteria second one is bacillus form then third one is spirula type and the fourth one is vibrio type clear this coccus type means there also comes under the sub types it's a diplococcus staphylococcus tetrococcus streptococcus sorcery so these are the sub types they come so there in a coccus type then bacillus this is a diplobacillus type then spirulum and vibrio so these are the some of the shapes of bacteria clear yes next one is flagellation of bacteria flagellation means how many number of the flagella is present in which positions that occur okay so that means they comes under in a five types what are the position of this what is the type of flagella means monotrichous lophotrichous amphitrichous peritrichous and unitrichous so if we see this one monotrichous means only one single flagella they presents in the with only one side okay that's a type is called monotrichous next one is lophotrichous lophotrichous mean more than two flagella that is attaching in any one of the side any one of the bacterial cell clear that's known as lophotrichous 
The next one is amphitragus means more than two flagella that is attached in both sides. Clear? That is known as amphitragus. Clear? The next one is peritragus. Peritragus means numerous flagella that is surrounded in the cell wall surface area. Understood? That is covered by the cell surface area. That is known as peritragus. A trichus means without flagella. That is we are called as that is a A trichus flagella. It's clear children? This is the diagram is very very important for two more or three more question answer. Understood children? Yes. Next one we are going to learn the ultra structure of bacterial cell. The next one we are going to learn ultra structure of bacterial cell. Shall I ask them a question children? What are the shapes of bacteria? Caucus. Very good. Try it children. Bacillus. Spirulum. Vibrium. Okay. Clear. So these are the four shapes of bacteria. Okay. The next one is ultra structure of bacterial cell. Ultra structure of bacterial cell. Bacterial cell. Clear? Yes. So, ultra structure of bacterial cell. The bacterial cell that shows that the three layers, mainly there is a three layers children. What are the three layers means? First one, so that is comes over in a capsule or glycocalyx. Capsule or glycocalyx. Then second one is cell wall. And the third layer is the cytoplasm. The third layer is called cytoplasm. Are you understood children? What are the three layers that shows this one? Bacterial cell. The bacterial cell shows that the three layers. Capsule, glycocalyx, cell wall and the cytoplasm. Okay. The next one is learn one by one. First one. What is capsule or glycocalyx? All of you see this diagram children. Here, the first one, this is the outermost area. Okay, so this is the area. The first one, what does mean by capsule or glycocalyx? So here, this layer, the bacterial cell, so this is the gelatinous substance is present, children. This gelatinous substance, the two component is there, one is polysaccharides and another one is mucosaccharides. Okay. Polysaccharides, its two components is present in this capsule or it is a glycocalyx that is a gelatinous, gelatinous sheet. Okay. This gelatinous sheet, they present, these are the two chemical substances. Sometimes there is a two chemical substances are present in the both. Clear? Yes. Next one, what do you mean by capsule or glycocalyx? The capsule or glycocalyx means the one thick layer. Okay, so this is the one of the thick layer, thick layer of the glycocalyx that is tightly present to the cell wall region. The tightly bounded to the cell wall region that is known as capsule. Understood? The thick layer of glycocalyx. That is tightly bound to the cell wall region. Tightly bound to the cell wall region. That is known as capsule. Clear children? What is the function of this glycocalyx or capsule means? First one. So this one is give the protections. Clear? The next one. So this is the sticky like nature. When gelatinous substance is there. Am I correct? So this is substance. They attach to the surfaces. This is the sticky nature of the cell. They attach to the substrate. Um, the substrate likes that is a plant uh, root surfaces and the human teeth surfaces, some uh, tissues region. So this is the attaching purpose that one is used. Understood children? Say yes or no? And also to retain the nutrient medium of the bacterial cell. The retaining of the nutrient of the bacterial cell. So these are the certain functions of capsule or glycocalyx.
Understood children? Say yes or no? Yes. The next one, the second layer is the cell wall region. Understood? The next layer is the cell wall regions. So here, the cell wall region, so that is the granular and rigid like structures. The next one is the cell wall region. Cell wall. The second layer is cell wall region. Okay. The cell wall region. The cell wall is a granular and rigid in nature. Okay. The first one, what is the major function of this cell wall means? What is the major function of cell wall? So this one is providing the protection and give the definite shapes to the cell. So this is the cell wall region. The yellow color representing the area. So this is cell wall. So they give, providing this protection and also they give that definite shapes to the cell. Am I correct? Yes. Next one, what are the cell wall? Chemical substances or presence means. So here they present in a mucopeptides and the polypeptides. Okay, what are the items are present, children? Very good. So they present in a mucopeptides and the polypeptides. Okay. Then what are the mucopeptides component or presence means? N acetyl miramic acid and glutamic acid. So some of this four or five amino acids these. Come, together they present in a polypeptide chain. Here, four or five amino acids together to make that polypeptide chain. So, these are the items so they present in that is chemical, the component is present in a cell wall region. Clear children? Say yes or no? Yes. Next one is plasma membrane. Plasma membrane. Plasma membrane. Plasma membrane. So here the plasma membrane is the one of this the third layer. The third layer is plasma membrane. So here the plasma membrane is made up of lipoprotein molecules. Okay. The plasma membrane is made up of lipoprotein molecules. The plasma membrane only, so this can through this is the way only entering and exiting of this small molecules and ions. Okay, but the entering and exiting, what is the function of plasma membrane means? You have to be right, it's a entering and exiting of small molecules and ions are through this way only going on. Understood, children? Then plasma membrane here they present in the many enzymes. Many enzymes may so here. This is the oxidation of metabolic enzyme. The oxidation of metabolic enzyme means so they are present in that is the some of the respiratory chain enzyme, the respiratory chain enzyme, and also they are present in the photosynthesis process. The photosystem they are involving certain enzymes. That are the enzymes of the presence in the plasma membrane. This third layer. Clear? This is the blue color is the capsule or glycocalyx. Second layer is the cell wall. Third layer is the plasma membrane. Understood to that? Then the plasma, once again, revise this one. Plasma membrane is made up of lipoprotein molecules. So what is the function of plasma membrane? Entering and exiting of this small molecules and ions. Okay? Then what is the other item is present? Means many enzymes are the presence in the plasma membrane layer. Clear children? Say yes or no? Yes. Next one. The next third layer of this bacterial cell, cytoplasm. So the presence in a cytoplasm. The third layer is a cytoplasm. The cytoplasm is the thick and semi-transparent in nature. Okay, the cytoplasm, the presence in a thick and semi-transparent in nature. This is the region. Okay. Thick and semi transparent. So here they present in the, some of the granules, ribosomes, and some of the cell inclusions. Okay. So what are the items of presence means? So commonly you write. So that's the cytoplasm inside the cytoplasmic cell inclusion, and also they present in the ribosomes. The cell inclusion means so that's a certain granules like sulfur granules. Beta hydroxy 
granules. So these are the granules and also they are present in the gas vesicles. Clear to that? So that is also present in the gas vesicle. So these are the items that are present in the cytoplasm. The next we are moving in that inside the cytoplasm many items are there. That one is learn one by one. Clear to that? Yes. Next one is bacterial chromosome. Bacterial chromosome. Bacterial chromosome. Clear? Bacterial chromosome. So in the center region, this is the red color representing this one. This is the bacterial chromosome. What does it mean by nucleoid or genophore? So here learn that's one of the two more questions. What does nucleoid or genophore? Genophore. Clear? Yes. So here the bacterial chromosome is a single stranded DNA that is tightly coiled like structures. Okay. So that's a single stranded tightly coiled DNA molecule. Here this genetic material is called the name is known as the genetic material is called the name is known as nucleoid or genophore. This is the same point already we learned from that general characters. Clear children? Did you remember that? Yes. Good. Very good. The next one, the bacterial chromosomes. What does it mean by nucleoid and the genophore? This is one of the two more questions, children. Here, this is the ultrastructure. The example of the species is E. coli. That's a short form. The Escherichia coli. That's an expansion of this short form is an Escherichia coli. That's a bacterial species name. Okay. So here, one of the amazing facts, all of you listen. This Escherichia coli, one millimeter long, okay, one millimeter long, when uncoiled condition means all the genetic information is stored in this length. Understood, children? Now, the amazing fact all the genetic information of this organism, the one millimeter long, this is an uncoiled condition. So, coiled in nature, but this is an uncoiled condition. This one millimeter long is fully storing in the genetic information of this organism. Understood, children? Say yes or no? Yes. The next one, the bacterial chromosomes, the coiled in nature, that's one end is they attach to the plasma membrane. Why this attachment is in this plasma membrane region means the scientists they are believing, the scientists they are believing DNA replication. After that is the DNA replication, maybe the chromosomes are they separated into two. Clear? So that is a during this a DNA replication, that is a chromosomes are they separated into two. So that is a fact only. The one end of this bacterial chromosome is attaching in this plasma membrane region. Understood, children? Say yes or no, ma? Say yes or no? Yes. Next one, learn about this. Next one, plasmids. The next one is plasmid. What is plasmid? The plasmid is the double stranded. What does plasmid? What is plasmid? Very, very important one of the two more questions, children. What is plasmid? The plasmid is the extra chromosomal, double stranded, circular here. This is the item. Okay, plasmid. So, this is the extra chromosomal, double stranded, coiled, self replicating. That's ability to self replicating autonomous element. Okay, so that is called plasmid. Clear children? But what does plasmid? The plasmid is the extra chromosomal molecule that is a double stranded self replicating autonomous element is known as plasmid. Clear children? The plasmids number of the species to species the varying of those numbers. Okay? So that is the numbers may be the various are stores that one megabyte to one megabyte to 500 megabytes. So that's storing of this plasmids size. Okay. The size of the plasmids is released from 1 to 500 MP. 
clear yes next one the classmates they present in a certain that is a gene so present okay the plasmids so the slide structure the plasmids they present in a certain genes what are the genes are present means that is a fertility genes the resistant genes and also some of those the heavy metals that are the genes are they present inside this plasmids clear children yes next one this plasmids they produce in a toxins and bacteriosis this toxin and bacteriosis toxin and bacteriosis toxin and bacteriosis that is produced only in this plasmid that is not produced in the bacterial chromosomes clear this is also another one type of chromosome only. clear so only in this regions only the bacterial toxin bacteriosis and toxins are produced Understood, children? Say yes or no? Ma? Yes. The next one, based on this function, the plasmids are they classified into some types. Okay. The based on the functions, the plasmids are they classified into types. This is also another one. This is the one of the two more question. Define plasmids. The next one is what are the classification types of plasmids? The plasmids are they comes under the first one as F. So that means by fertility factor, fertility factor or F factor plasmid. Okay. The next one is or resistance, resistance, resistance plasmid, resistance plasmid. Okay. Resistance plasmid. Then the next one is C O L, colsin, colsin plasmids. Colsin plasmid. The next one is Ori plasmid. Ori plasmid means root inducing plasmid. Root inducing plasmid. Clear? The next one is TI. Tumor inducing plasmid. Tumor inducing plasmid. Clear, children? Tumor inducing plasmid. What are the types of the plasmids or presence means you have to write this five types clear children this is also another one two mark or three mark students understood now yes next one we are moving that is the next type is next part is mesosome okay the next part is mesosome what is mesosome what does mesosomes mean? The mesosomes are infolding projections. Okay. The infolding projections of the plasma membrane to form that vesicles or tubules or lamellae like structures. Understood children? So the next one is the mesosome. Mesosome. Okay. What does mesosome? So here the mesosome means the mesosomes are infolding projections that is produced from this the cells of plasma membrane here the plasma membrane so to form that vesicles tubules and lamellae clear children then what is the function of mesosome what is the function of mesosome means that is helping in that binary fission and respiration clear children binary fission and respiration that is the major function of mesosomes clear the next one the mesosome after that polyribosomes okay the next one is polyribosomes polyribosomes are polysomes polyribosomes are polysomes the ribosomes are the the site of the protein synthesis Clear? The ribosomes are the site of the protein synthesis. So here, the species to species, the ribosomes numbers are varying. So around that is a 10,000 to 15,000 ribosomes so they present in a species to species, the varying of this number. Clear children? Here that is a two type of this 
ribosomes are present one has 70s ribosomes and another one has the two subunits the 50s type and the 30s type okay so these are the type of the ribosomes are present the next one of the two more question what is polyribosomes what is polyribosomes the ribosomes are held together by okay the ribosomes are held together by mrna and forms that polysomes or polyribosomes clear children so what is mean by polyribosomes or polysomes means the ribosomes are held together by mrna mrna clear and forms that polysomes or polyribosomes clear children say yes or no the next one we are moving with the flagella the next part flagella what does mean by flagella or what does mean by flagella so here flagella flagella or flagella okay the first one some bacterial cell that's a motile form of the bacterial cell okay here the hair like projections okay so this is a hair like projection that's emerge from the cell wall region in that different various of the level that is known as flagella or flagellum clear children so motile type of the bacterial cell very good the hair like projections that emerge from the cell wall region it's varying of the length okay so that is called the flagellum clear ma say yes or no yes this flagellum that is measured that is a diameter it's a diameter is 20 to 30 mu m okay the diameter is about 20 to 30 mu m and length is about the length is about 50 mu m the length is about 50 mu m in that eukaryotic flagella means so in this question the eukaryotic the structure of eukaryotic flagella you are coming to learn that's the chapter 5 chapter 5 there you have to learn that's a detailed structure okay just here in this place just you are touching that eukaryotic flagella what is the nature of presence in that flagella clear so in eukaryotic flagella means their presence in the 9 plus 2 arrangements of the microtubules 9 plus 2 arrangements of the microtubules how will you arrange in this 9 plus 2 arrangement of the microtubules means just imagine this is a plasma membrane so this is a plasma membrane so here they arrange in a 9 plus 2 so this 9 plus 2 3 so this is 4 1 tubules 6 7 8 and 9 clear so this is the tubules so this is a tubule this is the b tubules the double a tubules plus the center was 2 the center also 2 so this is the 9 plus 2 microtubules arrangement Understood, children. So this is the flagella nature is present in a eukaryotic bacterial organisms. Understood? Each flagella they arises in that single fiber alone. Then next one is what is the function of flagella? What is the function of flagella? Means it's used for locomotions. Clear, children? So this is the points we write about in a write note on flagella. Next one, the last one of this part is fimbriae or pili. Okay, fimbriae or pili. What is fimbriae or pili? What is fimbriae or pili? Fimbriae, fimbriae or pili or pilus. Okay, pili. Yes. So here. What does mean by pili means? Pili means listen. Some of the gram-negative type of bacterial cells. Clear? Some of the gram-negative type of the bacterial cell. For example, enterotoxin. Yeah. So these are the bacterial cell. 
from the cell wall region from the cell wall region the numerous hair like appendages hair like appendages means outgrowth like structures numerous hair like outgrowth there is surrounded the presence around the cell surface region that's known as spill like clear children so what is spill like so some of the bacteria this is mainly they comes under in a gram negative type of bacterial cells clear this gram negative type of bacterial cell the numerous hair like appendages that's mean by outgrowth they presents around that is the cell wall surface region clear that's known as spill like so in addition this is the normal pill like clear so in addition in certain cases certain cases of the bacterial cell in addition to the normal pill like they produce in a another one type of the pill like that spill like called that spill like name is called sex pill like that's the name is called sex pill like what is the use of this sex pill like means all of you listen what is the use of this sex pill like means so this sex pill like it helps in conjugation what does mean by conjugation the sex pill like is helping in that conjugation what does mean by conjugation means this is a one type of sexual reproduction in bacterial cell clear yeah? this is the one type of sexual reproduction in bacterial cell understood children yes so what is flagella or what is pill like then what is poly liposomes what is mesosomes define plasmid what are the classification of plasmid so these all the questions are they comes under in a two or three mark questions understood children say yes or no very good so the next one we are moving in that is the milestones of bacteriology the next one is we are moving in that is the milestones of bacteriology in the year of 1829 C. G. Aaron Bush. That person only they the term bacteria. This coin. This person name is known as Aaron Bush. Okay. 1884. Christian Gram. That person introduced that Gram staining method. Gram staining method is that is very much used to separating the bacterial type. Gram positive type of bacteria and gram negative type of bacteria. That method is they introduced that person name is known as Christian Gram. Understood children? Yes. Next one, 1923, David Hyde Birch. This person only the first edition of Bayer's Manual. Okay, the Bayer's Manual. 1928. Frederick Griffin. This person they discovered that the bacterial transformation. Bacterial transformation means so in this step, so this is the transformation. It is comes under in a one of the type of sexual reproductions. Okay. Yes. Next one. Nineteen fifty-two. Joshua Liedenberg. This person they discovered that the plasmid. This person only they discovered that. plasmids understood children right? yes then next one of us some one word question robert koch he is a german microbiologist but and then von liebenhardt is the dutch scientist okay dutch scientist so this person is a german microbiologist he is the founder of modern bacteriology he identified that some of this causal organisms for that the anthrax cholera and tuberculosis these are the causing that bacteria the person is identifying he got it its award the nobel prize in medicinal field and physiology that's a, in the year of 1905 clear children so these are the some one more question we should prepare it understood ma yes so next one we are moving that is the next to heading gram staining procedure the next one is we are going to get a gram staining procedure the gram staining procedure first this gram staining that's developed by that person name is known as danit fisian christian gram okay danit fisian 
Christian gram. This short name, right? Christian gram. In the year of 1884. So here, the gram positive gram staining procedure mainly a differentiating in that two type of the bacterial cell. One is gram positive type and another one is the gram negative type. How will you identify or differentiate that gram positive type and gram negative type means gram positive bacteria. So that red that's a very dark violet crystal is absorbed and they expressing in a, the dark violet color means so that is gram positive bacteria. Gram negative means the crystal violet color is not absorbed and after that counter staining time the counter staining time applying the saffron they appear they expose that they shows that red color that microscope view clear children that's the difference between gram staining bacteria of gram positive type and gram negative type clear yes Next one, what are the steps involved in gram staining procedure? First one is prepare the smear of bacterial culture. Smear means that is a thin bacterium that is placed in the slide for that staining purpose. Clear? The next one is stain with crystal violet for 30 seconds. They add in for this crystal violet for 30 seconds. Then rinse with the distilled water for 2 seconds. The next step, gram iodine for one minute. They apply for that step, iodine, so for that one minute. Again, rinse in distilled water. Rinse means the washing of that one. So, okay, the dipping of this item into that water. Then wash in 95 percentage of ethanol acetone. So, that is, keep it in a 10 to 30 seconds. Then the next step, rinse in distilled water again. The next one is applying the saffron for 30 to 60 seconds. Again, rinse in distilled water and plot. Plot means so that's a dry absorbing material. So, okay, that's for dry purpose generally. Then after that, prepare that one, prepare that staining procedure, absorb under that microscope. Clear children? These are the Steps involved in gram straining procedure. This is one of the very very important 3 mark or 5 mark questions. Understood children? Yes. So all of you listen carefully children. Today I am, I will give one work. In your biobotany subject, biobotany and botany subject, you have keep one separate notebook. In that notebook, you, you have to draw some diagrams. Clear? What are the diagrams going to draw that notebooks? First one is structure of tobacco mosaic virus. And second one, structure of bacteriophage. Then next one, the viruses, life cycle of phage, there are two types, one is lytic cycle and another one is lysogenic cycle, that two diagrams. Then today's portion, shapes of bacteria, flagellation of bacteria, ultrastructure of bacterial cell. The ultrastructure of bacterial cell is very very important one of the Five mark question. It's maybe sometimes they ask that three mark compulsory question. The diagram alone. Understood, children? If you are one time, you have to be drawing your classwork note means you will be easy to draw your diagram record note. Clear, children? So that's why I am telling children, please all should try to. Draw the diagrams in your class. Clear? Are you understood, children? Say yes or no? Thank you, students.